Okay, good morning. Welcome to the Family Math Nerd 574. Family Math 574. Um, so we just watched Kelsey Houston Edwards' video about um, cryptography and, and particularly uh, something called Shor's algorithm. Is that how you spell it? S-H-O-R? Okay, Shor's algorithm. Uh, what are some things you uh, remember from the video or you liked about the video? Well, it showed how to break the cryptography method. Okay, so we break RSA cryptography. Except and, there's and one. Why, why would that be a problem? Well, because everyone can like access anything that's encoded by RSA cryptography. Yeah. And that's very widely used. Yeah, and it's very widely used. Okay. There's right. one tiny catch to that. Okay, what's the tiny catch? Uh, that the numbers are like a hundred. Oh, the numbers yeah. that you have to break with this algorithm, that if you do it by hand, you won't have enough time. Or even with a normal computer, you won't have. If you started at the beginning of the universe, you would still be working for another very long time. Right. So it's not enough time. Time is a problem. Okay, so the the good news is it's very easy to break in in terms of it's actually very easy to explain how to break it. Yeah. The problem is actually you, breaking it. You need an enormous amount of time. And by enormous I mean more time than has passed since the beginning of the universe. Yeah. Like, at the beginning of the universe times like ten billion. Right. And if you send a secret message now and somebody breaks it. 10 to the 15th years from now, is that going to be a problem? No. No. Why aren't you going to care? Because you will probably not be around then. <laughs> right, you probably won't be around. Um, all right, what else from the video do you, do you remember or did you find interesting? Um, well, she said, I mean, you could kind of like speed it up if you had like a quantum computer. Ah, okay. So there's some mystery serious thing called a quantum computer. That sort of solves the time problem. Okay, and so, other than that, the steps are pretty easy. So, uh, one thing that, right, I'll use your language actually, which is pretty good, that solves the time problem is a quantum computer could do this. Do you know what the problem with that is? That quantum computers, not everyone can have a quantum computer. Okay, yes, that is true. Why not? Why can everyone not have a quantum computer? They're really expensive. A uh, little more. They don't exist. They don't exist. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of the problem. <laughs> they don't exist in any real way. So um, they're just being developed. They're more of a, a theoretical idea right now. But when they when they do exist, this form of cryptography is going to be a problem. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to take the steps that that um, Kelsey Houston Edwards laid out in her video. Uh, we're going to do them in Mathematica, okay. um, and uh, we're going to try. We're going to do what she did. We're going to do some numbers that are products of one-digit primes, okay. and then we'll do two digits, three digits, four digits, and we'll see. We'll see you know if we can continue to break this, and then we'll also see when it gets hard. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's go.